وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights the status of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he is not only a messenger of Allah but also the last of the prophets. Remember, Mushrikeen used to tease Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he will not have continuity in his lineage and he will be abdur alayyadu billah because he has no son. This verse clarifies that even though Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not the biological father of any man um, alive, he is a spiritual father of his ummah and his spiritual lineage will continue till the end of times. Subhanallah. Now let's go deeper in the discussion of Khatam and Nabiyin since it is a fundamental belief of Islam. First, we need to understand the difference between a Nabi, meaning prophet, and a Rasul, meaning messenger. A Nabi is someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed to reform people and he receives revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But a Rasul is a special type of Nabi who has also been given a book and a new Sharia. So in short, every Rasul is also a Nabi. But every Nabi is not a Rasul. A good way to understand this relationship maybe is to look at the role of a doctor and a surgeon. Every surgeon is a doctor, but not every doctor is a surgeon. We can say that a doctor is a general practitioner, but a surgeon is a doctor with specialized skills. Same goes for Nabi and Rasul. Nabi is Am, meaning general, and Rasul is Khas, meaning specific. As an example, Musa al-Islam was Rasul because he received Torah and a new Sharia with it. But his brother Harun al-Islam was a Nabi since he followed and spread the Sharia of Musa al-Islam, but he himself did not get a new book or a new Sharia. Coming back to the verse, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last prophet, it means that there is no more prophet coming after him. So if we will not get a new prophet, even after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then definitely there will be no messenger until the day of judgment as well. Because remember, Rasul is specific. So messenger is specific. And prophet, meaning Nabi, is general. So if you're not even getting a, a prophet, how can you get a messenger until the day of judgment? And similarly, the book revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is Quran is the final and the Sharia of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is also an ultimate Sharia till the end of time. There are many proofs of, of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being the final prophet in Surah Maida, verse number three, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-Islam adina. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your religion meaning there is no need anymore for a new religion or a new sharia since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already perfected the religion sent through Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam we get more explicit narrations also in a hadith narrated by Anas bin Malik radhi ta'ala anhu in Tirmidhi Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said inna risalata wa nubuwwata qad inqata'at fa la rasula ba'di wa la nabiyya indeed messengership and prophethood have been terminated so there shall be no messenger after me, nor a prophet. And then another narration narrated by Abu Hurairah al-Tala and on Muslim, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, anbiya'i bisittin, u'utitu jawami al-kalami, wa nusirtu bil-ru'bi, wa uhillat liya liya al-ghanaimu, wa ju'ilat liya al-ardu tahuran, wa masjidan, wa ursiltu ila al-khalqi kaffatan, wa khutima bihiyan nabiyyun. I have been given superiority over other prophets in six ways. I have been given words which are concise but comprehensive in meaning. I have been helped by fear in the hearts of enemies. The spoils have been made lawful to me. The earth has been made for me clean and a place of worship. I have been sent to all mankind and the line of prophets is closed with me. Meaning there will be no revelation after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and no one will be given the status of a prophet and the finality of prophethood Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is absolute it is not possible for anyone to possess even partial or indirect qualities of a prophet <laughs>